Hello! Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. In our previous lesson, we combine cell entries that include a text. We combine multiple cells into one cell so that we would be able to produce the full name. So we use two methods. The first was using the concatenate function. We typed in concatenate and followed the wizard. Our second method, we wrote the formula manually and we used the ampersand symbol to be able to join cells and text strings. In today's lesson, we're going to add one layer of complexity. We are going to add the middle name to the full name. So we'll have first name, middle name, and last name. Let's review the concatenate function equals concatenate, C-O-N-C-A-T-E-N-A-T-E. -E -E. And when we add our left parentheses, we have access to the function wizard. And following the wizard, as you recall, the first text is the first name. Text number two, because we want to have a space between first name and middle name, we put quotation mark, space, quotation mark. We're enclosing a space inside quotations. Text number three will be the cell referring to the middle name, middle initial. Once again, we want a space between the middle name and the last name. Quotation marks, space, quotation marks. Our final text is going to be the last name. And there we can see our result, George Washington. Well, when we copy this down just a bit, we'll go down here through James Polk. Everything is fine for John Quincy Adams. Everything is fine for James K. Polk. We have a bit of a problem here with George Washington and John Adams. Do you notice the extra space in between George and Washington? We have to find a way to get rid of that. Let's first try the ampersand method. Equals, make a cell reference back to the first cell for the first name, ampersand. And remember, ampersand is on top of seven on your keyboard. Quotation mark space, quotation mark, ampersand. Cell reference to the middle name, ampersand. And then after the ampersand, we will put quotation mark space, quotation mark, ampersand, and then finally a reference to the last name. Control Enter. We have that same nasty space in between. Let me show you how to get rid of it. Once you've learned how to do the concatenate wizard, you understand the logic. I find it easier, faster, and more flexible to use the ampersand symbol. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit this. After the equal sign, we're going to add in the function name trim, T-R-I-M, and then a left parentheses and a right parentheses to enclose the text formula. And that did it. Trim eliminates any extra space inside the cell. So it eliminated the extra space in the middle, separating first name, middle name, and last name when there was nothing, when there was a blank cell reference in there. So once again, equals trim and then we use the left parentheses and closed out the formula with the right parentheses. So by writing the formula manually equals making the reference to the first cell ampersand for the space remember that we have quotation mark space quotation mark ampersand make the reference to the middle cell ampersand quotation mark space ampersand and then we make the reference to the last cell. And then finally, to eliminate any space, type in trim. And notice I type these in in lower case. If I have correctly entered the formula, when I hit Control Enter, trim will become capitalized. And there you have our tip for today. We'll see you on the next Tips and Time Savers.